Hi everyone, welcome back to another anime review. We are reviewing an anime called Black Clover. Wow, another popular anime, which we haven't done that. Now, before I before I continue on with the anime review, this is from episode 1 to episode 70. I don't know if they're going to make newer episodes, but we'll wait and see. But I think I'm going to explain that when we get further into the video. So if you want to stick around, be my guest. But my top 5 favorite characters of Black Clover are Charmy B number one because she likes to eat and she can summon sheep which is baffling the hell out of me. She goes to summon the wolf too when she goes into overdrive. Number two is Asta because he's the main character and the fact that he's probably my favorite main character of the Shonen Jump anime because he doesn't know when to give up. And the fact that he has anti-magic because he gets his magic from demons because he gets a grandmother from a demon. And the funny thing is, is that Asa has no magic power, so I think that's really interesting. Number three is Noelle. She's a, a water mage, and she is really good at what she does. So she is the main protagonist. She is the main protagonist's girlfriend, if my memory serves, because Noelle has a crush on Asta, and she doesn't know when to admit it. However, she will admit it at some point. I guarantee you that. Now, number four and number five are really unique. Um, number f My fourth favorite character of Black Clover is Luck. Because he's a psychopath and only cares about his fucking fighting. I don't know why they decided to do that. But he's, the ma he's one of the characters that fights pretty much the most. And he's also the one that fights a lot more in the anime. I don't know why he gets picked for a lot of the stuff that Asta and Noel do. Like, he's the one who fights the most. However, when they... However, early on, like, between episode 48 and 49, which, by the way, I'll explain that later. Um, at, at episode four in the 40s or 30s, um, Luck and Magna get injured before the fight really begins with the whole entire squad. Which is kind of interesting because they're the only characters that fight first of the main baddie of that arc. And the fact that they get killed. So yeah. That's the main problem with that. So yeah. That is interesting. Now when it comes to the fifth main character. The fifth main character is Grey. I think Grey's a great character. But the problem is is that they don't use her that well. She gets the 10-10 treatment because you don't know her backstory until episode 164. And, or 165, somewhere in the 160s, I believe, from 160 to 170. That's when you real, that's when you learn of Gray's fucking, fucking um, uh, past. That's kind of interesting because some of the characters don't really do that much. Like Gordon gets left behind a couple times while the crew does their fighting, and there's also stuff like that. Like Magna doesn't do that much at the very end of the training arc. Because he just leaves. Also the guy who can teleport. Which by the way. They add, they introduce new guildmates. Later on in the game, anime. Like the vice captain of the Black Bulls. And he's really cool. Although he has like four demons that he can fucking control. And like God said. We can only control one apparently at the end of it. But that's pretty much the main gist of it. Now I'm not going to go into any details. Of why this anime is good. Because I started liking it in episode 49. Episode 1 episode one to episode 48 are good episodes. I, de I won't deny it. But I did not fall in love with it until episode 49. Episode 93 to 99, however, I kind of felt like that the anime was slogging and slow. And it was boring at, at some point. Even though there was a lot of action going on and, of those episodes. I just didn't felt like the same thing. So that's the main gist of that. <sighs> Episode 100 to 70. They were okay. It was actually up and down. But most of them were good. Now when it comes to. By the time of this recording. They might make newer episodes. So that's beside the point. Now before I get into my. What I'm going to rate this. Where do I put this on of the Shonen Jump animes. And this is where the bulk of the video is going to take place. Because of the fact that there is... I considered the four Shonen Jump... The big four of the Shonen Jump animes from the 2000s are Naruto from 2002. 
the original Full Metal Alchemist and Brotherhood, if you want to continue that, because Brotherhood came in 2009, I believe, or something like that, 2010 at the very end of it. So Full Metal Alchemist, Bleach, and fucking, um, what was the other one that I wanted to say? Fuck. I forget what the other one. Oh, yeah, Fairy Tale. Those are the big four of the 2000s, because Fairy Tale came out in 2008. Those, those are the big four of the Shonen Jump genre animes in the 2000s. In the 2010s, it went My Hero, Demon Slayer, Shino Kaisen, and f I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologize if I can't because I'm not very good at Japanese names. And Black Clover. Um, on those three, the problem with Black Clover, and I think that it has an issue, is the fact that I think it has the same problem as Fairy Tale and also Inuyasha. Um, f f let's start off with why I think it's like Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale came out in 2008. Fucking. Black Clover came out in 2018. It was popular and it was good. Um, but for some odd reason, it fell off really quickly. And that's the main problem with it. Because the manga is still going. And they're pretty far ahead of the anime. So something must have happened why the anime stopped. But Because the anime stops at a critical juncture of what the hell is going on. And I think that's the main problem with that because of the fact that the anime, the anime stops at a cliffhanger, so to speak, because they're two of the captains got kidnapped and they're about to rescue them, and then then it just stops. So they might make a new season. Hopefully they do because it's a good popular anime. But that's what Fairy Tail did, and then they Fairy Tail made a new season, new season, which is number four. So that's the main thing why I think it's just like fairy tale because of that reason. The only reason why I think that it's like Inuyasha is for something really bad. Um, because Inuyasha is a very decent anime. But the problem is, is the fact that Inuyasha, unless you try to find Inuyasha, you will not be able to like it unless you fall in love with it. It's like one of those, it's for those hardcore anime fans. And that's why I think Black Clover hits that. It's probably it's more popular than Inuyasha. Don't get me wrong. Inuyasha is not better than Black Clover, but Black Clover has the same problem as Inuyasha because when Inuyasha came out, it was dealing with Soul Eater, um, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball GT, probably Full Metal Alchemist, um, and a bunch of other Shonen Jump animes. Like Initial D was still going on in two thousands. Like that's the main thing why. That's the main reason why fucking Inuyasha got lost in the mix of all the best animes. Like Air Gear and stuff like that. Mushishi. Like that's Collad. You know. It, 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 it had a lot of stiff competition. And pretty much Naruto pretty much dominated the whole entire 2000s with fucking Bleach. But that's beside the point. So that's the main reason. Plus also if it does make a new season it has to compete with Fairy Tail. One Piece is still a juggernaut. A new season of the a new series in the Dragon Ball series. You've also got fucking um a new season of Fairy Tale, Shino Kai's and Demon Slayer. They're probably gonna make new episodes. Even fucking My Hero probably does that. So it's got a lot of stuff competition. So I think that's the main reason why it's still a decent good anime. I think it's way better than Inuyasha at that point. But the main problem with it is the fact that I think that it gets lost in the mix because of how late it came into the Shonen Jump community. And that's not and that's not a knock on it. It's just that it's a really shame because unless you try to find Black Clover, you're not going to be able to watch. You're not going to be able to enjoy it because you feel like it's the same as the other Shonen Jump animes. And that's, a, that's the main problem I have with it. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's just that it feel like it's like mixed up with all the rest of the animes that in that time timeline. Like that's the whole problem I have with it. So, with that being said, where do I rank this of all the shown? Well, I'm giving this anime a ten out of ten. However, I'm gonna also do the Shonen Jump, my Shonen Jump animes. So, where do I rank it? Between all the Shonen Jump animes that I've actually watched. Which is the original Naruto. Not Naruto Shippuden. I've never watched that. I'm putting Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super all in one category. Because those are the only three series I've watched from Dragon Ball. Then you've got Fullmetal Alchemist and Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yu Yu Hakusho. Soul Eater. And I think I've watched Fairy Tail. 
So those are the six Shonen Jump animes that I can remember that I've actually watched. And to be honest with you, I'll probably put Naruto number one because even though it's the main reason why it's because it's the main reason why I like anime. Fairy Tale second, Dragon Ball Z third, probably Fulma Alchemist fourth, and I'll probably put um fucking um Black Clover fifth. I think it's better than Yu Yu Hakusho at the at least. But that's only because of the fact that I think that Yu Yu Hakusho has the problem of its fourth and final season sucking so bad because I didn't like it. But Black Clover did not start off really start off really slow, and that's the main reason why it, it gets fifth out of ten. I don't think I think I I I enjoy Fullmetal Alchemist more than fucking Black Clover. And that's saying a hell of a lot. But I still think that you should definitely watch Black Clover. It's getting a 10 out of 10 for me. I like I like every single episode except for a few. Like I said before, from episode 93 to 99, I felt like it was a slog fest. Even though there was a lot of action, like I said before. But what are you guys' thoughts on Black Clover? Do you, are you excited if they make a new season? Um, I hope they do because I do want to see what happens to the characters because of... Uh, they left it off on the cliffhanger in episode 170, and that drove me fucking nuts. But anyway, I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Um, I just wish that Black Clover... If Black Clover came out in the 2000s, I think it would be a lot more popular than it is now. Be, but then again, I might be wrong because in the 2000s, there are a lot more competition in the 2000s than freaking nowadays. Because in the 2000s, even though you had Naruto, fucking, fucking, um, uh, Fairy Tail, um, Fuma Alchemist, and Bleach, you also had One Piece, GT, fucking Higarashi, um, and then you also had your sports animes that were coming out. Like, uh, also, fucking Hunter x Hunter was coming out as well, so you still have that anime to be along the lines. So, yeah. But I hope you guys have a nice, positive day. Take care and always stay positive. I hope they make a new season. I'll watch it because it's a really good anime. And the fact that I don't have to watch it from the beginning because I've already watched it all. Thank God. So I hope you guys have a nice, positive day. And always stay positive.